Hello everyone, we are back with another Unity tutorial and in this part we're going to be looking at emitting shots from our player object. Now the first thing that we want to do is go to the hierarchy here and go to create, create empty, just create an empty game object and let's call this uh, bullet spawn. Now this is going to be where our bullet objects will be uh, emitted from. So what we want to do is we want to take this and make it a child of our player object just like that. Now in the scene view we can see um, that bullet spawn is there so let's reset its transformations and it will reset relative to our player object which we've attached it to. Now the next thing that we want to do is just drag this forward to a point where we feel comfortable to uh, have our bullets come from and then we can drag in our prefab right here just to see how it would look and I'm pretty good with that let me just see what the yeah let's just clean this up a little bit so one along the z-axis and that should be fine for our game now that we've set that we can just delete that because the next thing that we're going to do is edit some script to ensure that we can actually emit these uh, prefabs that we created earlier from our player object. So what we want to do is click on our player object and then on the inspector go to uh, player script and we're going to go to a cog and hit edit. Okay so we are now here in mono develop and the first thing that we want to do is create some public classes. These are going to allow us to just basically mess around with what our um, object that we'll be emitting will be and the positioning of it. So we're going to type in some of those public classes right now and I'll come back to you once I've typed those in just to explain what they do. Okay, so I'm back and I've typed in some new scripts just under the public uh, variables that we have set up already. So that being the uh, boundary and the speed. Now this variable, this public class allows me to change what the object that is being emitted is and we'll be able to edit that in the inspector. This line of code lets us change the uh, transformation value of our actual uh, bullet spawn. So what that means is that we can assign a location for our game objects which is attached to the bullet spawn game component to come from. So basically what I'm going to do later is assign bullet spawn to bullet spawn and as we can see here uh, bullet spawn is right there so our game components our bullets are going to come from here. Okay so this public float right here is a fire rate and what fire rate is going to allow us to do is to change the rate at which we're going to fire our bullet. So I'm going to demonstrate that later once we've got everything set up. But for right now these are our public classes or variables. Now the next thing that we want to do under our classes is to type in void update with our little brackets on the end and then two more brackets so that we can type some things between them. Now with other kind of shooting games we'd uh, usually want to associate a firing button with them but it seems that with a lot of bullet hell games our player will be firing automatically so what we want to do is we want to find the code that will allow us to fire using a key and we're just going to edit that a little bit so we don't have to use any keys to fire our objects so what we're going to do is we're going to type in input dot get button and then we're going to highlight that and as we said we could do earlier we're going to hold control and hit that apostrophe key and that's going to bring up unity's api okay so now we're here in the uh, scripting api and i've just clicked the uh, top result which is input dot get button and conveniently for us it's got all the code for well the example code is actually basically what we're dealing with right now so what we can pretty much do now is just copy that code in and see where that takes us. So I've just put the code in where I put input dot get button. 
and let's just make some adjustments here okay so let's look at this line in a little bit of detail so it basically what it's saying to us is that if we press a button then we're going to fire our bullet at a certain fire rate that we uh, dictate so what we want to do is get rid of this first part so we have this part of our line take place automatically one other little aside that I'll uh, just tell you guys is that if you put jump in here then that means that um, this will become spacebar this this button will be spacebar so in your game if you do want to use buttons and uh, you're wondering how you can uh, get the spacebar to work for you uh, that's what you need to do but for our means we're just going to get rid of that and leave it at that now if we go back to unity right now we're going to have a couple of problems with our script so let's just fix these things we're going to make a private class so we've made our private float right here which is next fire which means that we'll be able to work with this and we won't have any errors in unity now next fire equals the time dot time dot time now next fire equals time dot time plus the fire rate the time dot time is one second and our fire rate is whatever we dictate it to be so if it's 0 0.5 then our fire rate will be well next fire will be a value of 1.5 basically it makes a gap for each shot that we make so we don't have a overlapping overwhelming continuous stream of shots that like collide with each other now just to clean up our code here we're just going to get rid of game object equals clone and as game object and just put our semicolon at the end of that and I'm just going to go back and name this uh, public game object so that we can put it into our instantiate line now there are many documents that you can read that will explain to you a lot of the stuff that I'm actually doing right now so if you want to learn more about instantiate and things like that then I would definitely recommend going to the Unity website. They've got loads of documents on scripting because I know I'm not qualified to uh, give firm and true definitions of these things. I just have a sort of good grasp of how to make things work. So we've got our script looking like that right now. And let's return to Unity to test it out. So we're going to hit File and Save. Okay, so I returned to Unity and saw there was a couple of problems with my script. If you are following me step by step, just change this to uh, bullet spawn dot rotation, and you should be good to go. This is the script that we've been working on today. Just try to double check that everything is in the right place, and we'll be able to return to Unity right now. So we're here in Unity, and we see a couple of extra things have appeared in the inspector for our player bullet object now that the hard part is over all we have to do is match up what goes where okay so bullet spawn will be going into here and our shots should be in our prefabs folder and we'll go here now if we start our game let's see how things are running okay so we've got a bit of a dilemma uh, depending on who you are uh, you might actually want this effect uh, but let's do some things to uh, make this a little less um, crazy shall we so exit the player and let's change our fire rate now I'm thinking 0.15 is a decent fire rate I did mess around with it earlier and let's just see how that goes for us so yeah, I'm in the play mode and I see that this is pretty viable. I feel like there's a good frequency of shots being made. I'm pretty much protected, pretty much uh, covering every area of the screen that I move to. So say an enemy were to move to the left or to the right, I'd be able to cover them with shots. And yeah, everything seems pretty good right about now let's just exit that player now I'm not sure if any of you realized but we do have a little bit of an issue with the state of our game right now which is that when our player is shooting we get a bunch of clones 
of our original shots which isn't good because it's going to flood our game we're going to use more resources and it might not run as well so what we can do is we can destroy these objects as they leave our game and that's what we're going to be doing next lesson this has been another unity tutorial guys so in this lesson what we've done is we've basically attached our bullets to our player object and we've changed the fire rate for our player to make sure that we don't flood the scene with an unnecessary amount of objects anyway thank you for watching guys this has been another unity tutorial if you liked it then you know uh, do as you may leave a like leave a comment um, I'll be coming back with another set of videos next week uh, thank you for the support and as always I will see you guys later